Hey yo, what's good? It's your favorite straw hat Nico. Tell him what the homie Midoriya. He's a pretty relatable character. The way I see it, if Recovery Girl was not in the story, it'd be a totally different situation. He had to be way more careful. Or if someone like Mina was the main character, I love the story a little bit more. But I can't really imagine the struggles being the same because Mina's quirk is already pretty useful and flashy. She embodies the hero just by being herself. If Red Riot was the main character, it wouldn't feel the same. His quirk seemed like it's best for if he's trying to, you know, protect an objective or buy time for someone so they can actually use this OP flashy quirk. That's the way I see it. If the visible girl was the main character, it wouldn't really be lit because I've never really seen her do anything pretty much useful to the story. She's just always like there. We never seen her actually do something to say, wow, that character, remember her name, her quirk, and everything she does. No, I mean, she seems pretty cool. No, I just want to see her actually put in work one time for the one time. You feel me? Because look, I was thinking, what if someone else had the one for all? How it look? It'd be pretty dope, but overpowered because everyone else in class 1A already has an interesting quirk that they can use to help society in some some type of way because I was thinking in the beginning okay if Midori didn't have a quirk all this time and can never get one he can easily be one of those people where he joins probably division where it's all about saving people but you don't actually have the quirk to back it up so I was saying maybe it's probably like different divisions in the school or different departments you know to learn a sports festival that's actually the case he'd be someone like May maybe but who knows why the main character is the way he is oh yeah it just fits a story to the T because I was thinking if he was overconfident like a lot of main characters are in Shonen, it wouldn't fit well. If you already had a quirk since the beginning, you wouldn't see him the same way we do now. So I was thinking, if he had the ability to manipulate fire because his dad's fire quirk, I mean, no, we already have someone like Shoto. If he had his mom's ability where he can essentially move small objects or levitate things, you only need that power because we have Gravity Girl, right? Either way, almost gonna have to retire at one point, so we need a successor. And who else really gonna step to the plate to be that successor? Let's say Kach has a successor. How would it look? It wouldn't make any sense to me because he does have good qualities, but I can't see Kachan as a prime example why I see as a symbol of peace. Kachan looks like he loves to find fights and he just wants to win all the time for the sake of it because he's strong and he loves his quirk. That's my personal opinion. But I was sitting here saying, okay, my main issue in the beginning was because Recovery Girl was a thing, Midoriya could actually be reckless and then say, oh, I'll get recovered. It doesn't really matter either way. But we learned over time that the thing was, if you kept getting healed by Recovery Girl, the drawback is it eats up your stamina. So it means it's not a good idea to rack up injuries and then say, oh, she got me. No, that's why she didn't always heal up every last thing she could because she know the dangers. And I was sitting here like, yeah, that's why Deku's relatable. He thought he had a clutch the entire time. And if I was him, I would think the same thing. If I get recovered after every fight, let me wild out one time for the one time. Grrr, Detroit smash, right? Why not? But what I was worried about the most for him is just the way he controls the power. I get why stuff happened the way it did. The quirk, he wasn't born with it. Yeah, but I was worried that, okay, so if you use it one time, why is it always breaking a finger or a breaking a limb or harming some part of you? That's a risky thing. And how come All Might does it, that doesn't happen to him? Then we actually got the explanation. I was saying, oh, totally makes sense. Because remember, Midoriya, I want to say he's an introvert based on the way he acts. He's not really like a social person, but he's getting there day by day. And remember, for the longest time, because he wanted to be a hero, had no quirk, he kept learning, okay, here's how this quirk works. Here's a way to counteract it. Here's his weakness. Pretty cool, which helped him a lot. So anytime he got into a fight, he didn't always have to use the one for all from the jump. And if you notice, ever he had full cow, he can use it more efficiently, but still, I want him to get to the point where if he fights a villain, it can be similar to all my fights, where you can use up power, but you're not really saying, man, I almost broke my arm with that one punch, you know? So I was wondering, does it make any sense? If Arm didn't have the injury, how would he fight? How would things go down the streets? Hmm, pretty cool stuff, right? And I like how every time Midoriya is about to level up or something, it just feels like a regular person learning that, hey, I can do so much more than feel like, oh, I'm the main character. I got this great plot armor. I'm not gonna be defeated anytime soon. I'm untouchable. Never felt that way even for a second because even when Midoriya was like, all right, yo, I I got this quirk. He knew all my totem. Hey, listen, listen, listen. I just gave you the quirk. Do know this. If you use it, there's a strong chance of getting injured. You've been warned. And there you go. And every time I was wondering, why didn't all my say in the beginning? Oh, I gotta warn you. T Master Power, <laughs> what's gonna happen is you're gonna overuse your body and probably break your cup. I mean, he hinted at it, but he only really said for sure, okay, here's what you gotta do to master the power. It was a good thing because it means we do not get no handout. He had to learn on his own how to master his work, which was something almost everyone had to do. It was not like, okay, I had to work before. Do A, B, and C, you're good to go. The other thing I like about certain stories 
story, it always feels like the main character, you get why they do what they do, but it's not really like relatable in a way. For example, look at Goku. Can y'all really relate to him besides loving food? I mean, yes and no. Same thing with Luffy. Like, yes, I love Luffy as the main character, but he's a one-track mind. And half the time, he does stupid stuff because that's just the way he is. He's like a child, you know? He's gonna be Doria. He can think things through. He can say, all right, I'm gonna do this. Here's a possible consequence. Here's what could go wrong. But you know what? I can't wait for someone to save the day or just sit here and hope I get saved. I'm gonna step up and do something. I wanna be a hero. I gotta do stuff like this. Every single chance I can. I'm stuck. I need to make progression. I'm gonna ask someone for help. That's what you do if you're a regular person. But another main character, they would never really wanna ask for help unless they was forced to or put in an odd situation. That's what I'm saying. He is self-aware and he knows, okay, I can do this, I can do that. That's why I love the character so much. And yeah, sometimes he does annoy me because I'm saying, I don't get it. How are you most scared person but you're always trying to save the day? Then it finally hit me. That's what being brave means. You're scared, but you're still trying to overcome that fear or at least deal with it. Cause I was me door, I'd be scared. The first day I had the one for all because you saw what happened, he broke his arm. And I don't know about y'all if y'all broke anything, but that don't seem like it's gonna be a good time. That thing was dislocated. Way look and if i knew that was gonna be the drawback of using my power i would never use it again until i'm pretty sure it won't happen again because if i was him i would always ask for since the beginning okay and my super suit i'm gonna need like shin guards i'm gonna need shoulder guards something to make sure while i use it i'm not gonna break my limbs every last time i would ask all my every day okay so when you use the power did you have any drawbacks like how did you master your power like give me some tips some pointers one time for the one time that's all i do and every time you saw you know deck the situation he was thinking things do like okay what should i do What's the best course of action? Let's do the bad boy. But of course, I'm even get thrown off. It didn't feel like, oh, so he was surprised, but he somehow magically knew where the enemy was. Mm -mm, that never happened, really. Oh, look, a situation happens where he can potentially lose, but develop from it. Oh, look, he won. He's OP. No, I don't see Midori as OP because his power is great. But the way I see it, as long as you know what the ability is, there's a way to counter it. And he's not the All Might level. It's like the one for all is always on. But hopefully in the future, you know, he master and get to All Might level. It's like every five he's already at you know it looks like 50 percent at least but we we'll have to wait and see how things play out i know from you guys who's the most valuable character in my hair academia to you and why who's your favorites who's your least favorites all that good stuff do your boy a favor king kong like button subscribe to join my straw hat fleet share your social media so i can expand the fleet one day at a time also if you want to bet me financially you got a patreon pull up asap the rocky pull up asap hold rocky and support our favorite creators because things are really tough right now to say the least but y'all know what's going on so look 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 thank y'all so much for watching and i'll see y'all next time because remember i can say so much more but my crew needs me